Assalamu alaikum everybody, I'm back with another video. I'm sorry for not posting, but I finally got this video up. Today it's going to be about how to pick the right hijab fabric for you. In the last video I made, I mentioned that you should know what kind of fabrics there are before you buy, so this is what this video is for. Before I looked into it, I didn't really care about the fabrics, but now I realize that they do matter. Um, also, make sure you go check out Ojeb's video about this. They kind of inspired this, but hopefully by the end of this, you'll know what kinds of fabrics you want to get. So, so the first kind are wovens. This is the first kind that I started to wear. There's different types of woven. They're like a cotton blend, usually the cheapest. Some of them are thin, but some of them can also be thick. For the most part, they stay in place, like they're not too slippery, You, but you might need a cap. Some of them don't work too well with pins because they kind of easily fray. There's viscose, which is like a thin type of woven, pretty translucent, translucent, and it's definitely not good with pins, but there's also a modal, which is thicker than viscose, and it's pretty opaque. The next kind is jersey. It's one of the most popular ones, and they're really good at staying at place. Like you don't have to have a cap with this one if you don't want to, or pins. Um, and they're pretty stretchy, thick, they're easy to put on for on the go. If you just have to put on your scarf real quick, they're really comfortable. And they go good with like a casual type of clothing style. You know, like if you go to a wedding or something, you probably shouldn't wear this because they, they don't really have the formal type of look. The next kind of chiffon is one of my favorites. It just looks really pretty. It's really light. Some of them are opaque um, while others are more translucent. But when you fold them over, they are opaque if you don't want to wear a cap. And they're really like fluid. But the thing with these is that they're really slippery. So you probably should wear a cap with this and pins if you don't want it to keep falling out of place. You can wear it for every day or for formal events. The next one is Georgette. It's pretty similar to chiffon. It's just a little more textured and usually more opaque. Now for satin, they're more luxurious. They're a little more expensive. They have like a really satiny kind of finish, like really shiny. They look really nice for formal events. They have like a very chic look and they're opaque and kind of thick. For the last type of fabric, there's silk. They're like the most fancy of fabrics and they can be really expensive depending on where you get them. But they do have a vintage kind of vibe and I see them kind of coming back on social media. Like people have that kind of 50s look with like glasses and red lipstick. Um, but these generally only come in like square sizes. So keep that in mind. And with sizes, just keep in mind that the dimension of the scarves you buy is important. So make sure you check that whenever you buy something. Some styles require a certain size of scarf. Um, and if you have a scarf at home that you really like the size of, you can measure it and go off of that when you buy things. Now what to wear under your scarf. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, it helps you stay covered and more comfortable while giving you the freedom to experiment more with different kinds of styles. Keep in mind the look that you're trying to achieve and the weather conditions of that day when you're choosing what to wear. Just a quick overview, there are bonnet scarves that cover the head and ears. Sometimes they're tied, sometimes they're just like have a little hole in the back. If they are the kind that you tie, make sure not to tie it too tight. If you do, it can actually make it slip more easily, so go for a more comfortable fit. There are also ninja scarves that cover from all the way to your head to the upper chest. I like this one because you can like literally have the loosest of styles and it still looks modest but just keep in mind that it can be really like uncomfortable in hot or humid weather there are also sports hijabs that are miscellaneous but these are really breathable they're made for sweating and lots of activity and they also cover from your head down to your mid chest now for keeping your scarf in place again you don't have to use these for some of these fabrics if you don't want to but some of them they're kind of necessary um, there are classic straight pins, which are just really cheap. They can cause a slight damage in fabrics though, depending on the quality. They're dangerous if you're clumsy and you, you might poke yourself. But they're also great for like layering hairstyles and keeping like the layers in place. There are other kinds of pins like barb pins and safety pins that you can use. Usually the, you put these under your chin to make sure that your hijab doesn't move. There are also hijab magnets, which are my favorite. They're just two magnets that hold a piece of fabric together. They're not as cheap, but they're still cheap if you know where to get them. You can't use them like for layering. Usually you should put them like around your chin or if you like cross two pieces of fabric over like on your shoulder, something like that. Also, they're like little hair clips you can use near your forehead, like barrettes or something. I see them coming back in style and I think they're really cute. 
Something important to know is that the way like I describe these fabrics assumes that they're at least decent quality. Some jerseys you buy that are cheap might not be stretchy, they might not be soft and comfortable. So that's just something to like keep in mind. I recommend buying about a dozen good quality hijabs that you know you're gonna wear instead of 50 cheap ones that are gonna fall apart after a couple washes. You do need to keep in mind like washing your hijabs because it is really easy to get food on them and stain them depending on the style that you wear. Um, when it comes to accessories though, honestly just get the cheap ones because they're really easy to lose and it kind of sucks like when you spend a lot of money on like a hijab magnet or something and then you lose it in a week. So. The difference in quality between accessories doesn't really make a difference, at least in my opinion. Okay, that was it for this video. Again, sorry for not posting in such a long time. I'm just, I'm working on my time management skills, but um, thank you guys for all the supportive comments. I really appreciate it. I'm just really happy to see all these people being affected by my videos or my one video so far, but thank you guys. Masalama, have a nice day.